I got pretty fucking lucky with my upbringing. I never had to like deal with bad sponsors or people who like weren't looking out for me. You know, if you want to be with a brand, don't like settle to be with like some shitty brand because they're going to pay you $500 more. Like ride for the brands that you want to, if, even if it's for nothing. When the season gets started, I just kind of like to spend as much time on my snowboard as possible. I'm just excited to be able to have a little bit of extra time to, to snowboard with friends and, and really get warmed up, you know, feeling comfortable on the snowboard. I, I feel like, you know, turning your snowboard is just as important as, um, you know, doing a frontside board slide 10 times. When, uh, when they went to go build the park to raise money, uh, they did this thing online where you could buy a brick. A certain size brick was like 100 bucks, another one was 200, or like these big ones are like, I think like 10 grand or something like that. So, you know, the bigger ones like companies bought. And then uh, my mom actually bought me one for my birthday one year, so I'm trying to find it. If you look around and there's like, every snowboarder, you know, pretty bad. I've always been on the road. Uh, you know, when I was 17, I moved out to Tahoe. And uh, since then, I've lived there, Salt Lake, um, Seattle, San Diego, New York, New Hampshire, <laughs> like all these different places in the last 10 years. I think it's a great time to be able to go from place to place and see your friends and, um, and enjoy that aspect of it. When we get down into filming, I kind of change modes where like if we're in a good location I would much rather stay in that location through like good days and bad days instead of like being in one place for a few good days and then go to a whole nother place and you lose a little bit of like productiveness by being on the road you lose days You know, there's like the people that you truly look up to, like, you know, your Jamie Lynn's or your Brian Agucci's, like that you've watched in videos for so many years. And there's also, I think, even a more powerful, like, influence is just your immediate group of friends around you. And they influence you in every way, the way that you talk, what you're going to ride, what you're going to do with your day. I like to snowboard similar to 
what I like to see in a video part. So when I was younger and growing up, you know, I watched all the form videos, all the dogger videos, and like everybody in those in those films had everything in in their parts. You know, it was they would have like a half pipe shot and then a rail shot, and backcountry. It was like all mixed. So I really like that. I like seeing that in a part, and it really mixes things up. For me, it's more just like taking that blueprint and, and moving forward with it. My favorite part of snowboarding is like riding new stuff, being with my friends, and just having fun in that, you know, in that equation. So if it if we're hitting a handrail, like yeah, I want to hop in the hop in the session and do some stuff. I may not be doing like the gnarliest stuff compared to like rail guys, but I'm in it and I'm like having fun. If we go into the backcountry, like I love to bring those guys, like street guys, who I know who have good like jumping abilities into the backcountry and like see what they can do out there and like I just like to snowboard. I don't really give a shit what it's on. <laughs> Progressing your own snowboarding and, and doing you know the professional aspect of it is like that's a pretty cool unique thing to be able to do. I would just say to kids coming up like be patient and do what you want to do you know don't settle for what someone else wants you to do